Hi, I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting live from a new location in Mexico. Happy to have you all here. I'm Bill the Geek. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. If you're new here or if you're watching the recorded version of this uh, video, uh, we do Mexico travel videos. We go to pueblos, big cities. We go to lakes. We go to oceans. We go to churches. We go to museums. We go to restaurants. Uh, we talk to attorneys. Uh, we talk to doctors. We try to keep it going on. And every Saturday we go live at 10 a.m. on Saturday. And we have 11 people in the house. And I'm happy that everybody is here. Welcome, Dr. John in Chile, New Jersey. Welcome, CMT 63. It's a little chilly there, and I'm glad you've been talking to Abaro to get your paperwork going. He's very good. He cuts through the ice, and you'll have your paperwork, and you'll have your, your visa, and you'll be all good to go. CMT 63, glad to have you in the house. Jordan White is in the house. Hola, Jordan. Hola. Yeah, it's a great price. Stuff's cheap down here. Christine Prowls. Good morning, Bill and everyone. Sunny and 19 degrees in eastern Montana. Well, at least it's sunny, right? <laughs> I'm sure you got a fireplace going and some good food to back everything up. Okay, we have some we have some stuff to talk about today. I've been traveling around a bit and today I have some video clips on my recent travels to small towns in Mexico. We're going to go into a couple of small towns and uh, I found a fabulous house and the, uh, the, the seller it's 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 a it's a small house. I'm going to put out a video on this house this week, but it's a fabulous house. It's on about an acre. It's brand new, and the 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 seller only wants like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You wouldn't believe uh, the price that he paid to build this place. But I've got some video clips of these two small towns, and uh, we'll get with that very soon that girl that girl is in the house all of that girl always happy to have that girl in the house james and rena 101 days until ah he he james and rena were waiting on you rosa cats what's up rosa jack webb good morning it was nine degrees this morning warmed up to 15. oh here at my location broadcasting live from Mexico. Right now it's 57 degrees, it's sunny, and we're supposed to have a high of 74 today. It'll probably hit that around noon. I don't know how long we're gonna go today. Uh, I'm just gonna show you some of these clips, talk about some of the stuff that I saw, and, uh, and answer any questions. <clears throat> Katrina, the maker, good morning everyone. Good morning to Katrina. Uh, Tim Olson, all of Tim Olson, always happy to have Tim Olson in the house. Abba is in the house. Welcome, Abba. Okay, I'm going to make a major announcement, I think, at 1030. You want to stay tuned until 1030. And uh, anyway, here we go. Let's get to some of these clips. Let's get to some of these clips. Now, we talk uh, uh, in our live broadcasts and in our, in our live videos, we have talked about very popular places in Mexico. We visited many popular places in Mexico. We've done a fair amount of videos on Chapala and Ajijic. Uh, uh, that's what, that's what Americans and, and I know we have people in Canada that are watching now. We have people in Thailand that are watching now, but what catches people's eyes, uh, about moving to Mexico for Americans seems to be Chapala Ahihik. We introduced Hoko Tepec in a video about 10 days ago. Uh, that's, that's gotten almost 2,000 hits. Uh, but 
The thing is, if you get away from the popular towns, then all the prices go down and there's a lot less tourism. And if you're going to go to Mexico, maybe you want to live in Mexico. There's the upside, there's the downside. But uh, this week, uh, this week, we went to... We uh, uh, this this week we'll be putting out videos on the city of tequila. If you look at this map, you can see the arrow at the top pointed to tequila. I was there uh, yesterday and I, I was really very surprised at the beauty of tequila. Uh, and all the people, there are many tourists in tequila, and m most of them are Mexican nationals. And about a 20-minute drive from tequila is this little pueblo. It's called El Arenal. El Arenal. And uh, over there, uh, you can see El Arenal. I think the population is about 4,000 people. We're going to show you a house there in a second. Uh, but to the right of El Arena, that big white spot is Guadalajara. So it's only about a 20 minute drive from Guadalajara and everything changes once you get there. Thank you, CMT63, Hoko Tepec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm on the move right now. I'm looking for a place. I don't know where I'll be next Saturday. I kind of think I know where I'll be. When you see the when you see when you see the live broadcast next week, you're going to be blown away at the location and setting from where I'm going to broadcast. Yeah, I mean it's going to blow your mind. But uh let, let's go into uh, uh, let's go into El Arena here. This is El Areno, and like almost all Mexican towns and cities, this is just uh, this is the plaza downtown. You can see people are masked up the gazebo. Of course, off of the plaza, they have the church. I'm going to do a video on El. Arenal, uh, El Arenal. Uh, it's a quaint town, and you don't see, you don't see. I didn't see any Americans here. All I saw was, uh, oh, there's, there's a little taxi. All I saw was Mexican nationals the entire time I was here, and I would bet that you could rent a furnished apartment here for about $300 or $400 a month. Easy. Yes, the town even has an OXO. Sure, there's an OXO. Uh-huh. And uh, people get around in these little taxis right here. They have lots of these for about uh, 20 pesos or, or for a dollar. They'll take you anywhere in Town. They, uh, everywhere you look, they had these. See, you, you just wave them down. They stop for you. Tell you tell them where you want to go, and they don't have any. I, I uh, uh, my people that live there say that they don't have a bank in town. They do have ATM machines, but they've got all the stuff and uh, like uh, uh, meat shops. Uh, we're we're going to go into a. We're going to go into a uh, vegetable shop, uh, uh, but it's a very small and quiet town. I didn't hear any noise the entire time I was there. It was uh, it was it, it was a, a very nice visit, and um, this is my friend Mike. Uh, Mike, uh, he's gay. He has a boyfriend. Mike's 73. His boyfriend is 28. He's a Mexican national, speaks fluent English. And he's stopping in this place. It's owned by uh, his boyfriend's name is Danny. His, uh, his Danny's uh, aunt owns this place, but he's, he's buying some tacos to take home 
to Danny. And you can see, look at how red the meat is. Uh, and so they're going to whip up some tacos. And I'm going to pause this video just for a second. See if I can drag the video back. Can I move it forward? No, I can't. But uh, uh, I, I, re, I re round this video. Uh, there goes Mike. Mike has like uh, he has a trachea in his in his neck, and he has like eighty five diseases. But he gets around. He doesn't let his diseases stop him from getting around everywhere he lives. He was my landlord in Puerto Vallarta for five years. He knows where every restaurant. Okay, now look at the plate. I'm gonna pause the video. Look at that plate. That the lady has in her hand it's a plate and it's covered with plastic so if we were going to eat there if we were going to eat in this place they would put the food on the plastic and then you eat your food off of the plastic and uh, then when you're done they take the plastic off the plate throw the plastic away and put a new plastic thing on there which is kind of good. Now, the bad thing is, is it's uh, using up a lot of plastic, and we don't really need that. And then, check this out. Okay, if you're going to get food to go, the sauces, this is common throughout Mexico. All of the sauces, they're going to put in separate uh, little baggies like this guy's doing right now. So your red sauce, your green sauce, your guacamole is going to go in that little baggie right there and uh, so so you'll have uh, all of your stuff to go in, in one thingy but again this is El Arenal it's a fabulous small town I'm sure it's way cheaper than Hokotepec uh, Ahihik Shirley and this is about a one and a half hour drive from Ahihik Chapala, and it's a 30-minute drive from Guadalajara. You can drive to Costco. You can be at Costco in Guadalajara, Zapopan, in about a 30-minute drive. You can be at, uh, you know, all the big places, but this is a, a small, secluded town. It's a tequila town. The place is surrounded by agave plants. But anyway, let's get back and see what's going on. Linda Burns is in the house from Arizona. What's up, Linda Burns? And again, I'm going to make a major announcement at 1030. So you may want to stick around for that. Jack Webb, you didn't hear a dog bark in L right now. Now that's unusual. Now I'm going to tell you, I, I spent the night out there and I tell you, there was nothing, no sounds. I'm going to show you this house in a second. And this house is going to blow you away, but it has no neighbors, no neighbors, no houses around it. Uh, they have uh, horses and cows. You might hear some chickens, but there's, there's no sound. Skyrider, Ola Bill and everyone from San Antonio. That's right here in uh, Ahihik Chapala. Hmm. Tim Olson, that's unusual. Maybe they have roof dogs. Oh, okay. Okay. So that, let's, let's go back into El Arenal. Okay. So Mike, he got his tacos and Mike just, he, he just gets in the car and, and let's go. Let's go. We're going to go here. We're going to go there. The guy has 50 million diseases. He can hardly walk, but that won't stop him from enjoying life. So we stop here and uh, I, I don't quite understand this, but all of that meat, Mike is an excellent cook and he's going to use, this is chicken and actually all the chicken meat that you see right there, that is chicken thighs. And these guys know Mike. Uh, so, you know, he says, I, I want my chicken thighs. So they cut them up, get rid of all the bones for him. And, and then, uh, you you're going to see when we go to the market, he's going to buy some mixed vegetables. And, and here he wants to show me the chicken feet. He says, Bill, Bill, look here. They have chicken feet. Sure. 
sure. I, I don't think I've ever eaten chicken feet. Uh, I, I'll say that for another day. Here we go. Here we go. There's the chicken, fresh chicken, uh, right from the farm. And now Mike wants to show me the chicken feet and gizzards. Nothing better than some really good chicken gizzards. Uh, uh, okay, so, so we went to the taco place. We went to the chicken place. We're going to go to the open market next. Brian, Bri Brian Maiden, uh, in the good, good morning to Bill and Teresa and all in the house. One gypsy traveler. Sorry, I'm wait late. I was making bread for the neighbors and one gypsy traveler. I bet that that bread is really good. Uh, okay, so we're in. Uh, El Arenal. I'm gonna do a video on this this week. And uh, after we went to the chicken shop, then we go into the open market. And again, this is a small town. But in here, you, you can buy meat, you can buy chicken, you can buy all your vegetables, you can get your detergent. And uh, Mike, whose uh, Spanish ability sucks, okay? It, this guy, even though his boyfriend is a Mexican national, Danielle, uh, and uh, Danny can speak fluent English, thank God for Mike. But we go in here and, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, Mike wants to get some a bag of mixed vegetables. He asked me, how do you say mixed vegetable? I say, oh, there he goes. There's Mike with his mixed vegetables. He's good to go, but and and all of these shops are on the same block. Fresh chicken, fresh meat right from the farm. All of these vegetables are pretty much organic. I mean, uh, this this town was a really great place. It's a, it's a it's a great place, a great place to live. Very cheap. Uh, one one gypsy traveler. They seem to like it. Sure, hot hot bread. How can you go? How can you go wrong with hot bread? Zorro de la Vega. Hello from New York City, the Big Apple. We don't get too many fr people from the Big Apple in the house. Okay, now. Okay, our next stop. Our next stop. On the map is the town of Tequila. The town of Tequila, which is about a 30 minute drive uh, from El Arenal to Tequila. And this, uh, this trip really kind of shocked me. Uh, after we did our grocery trip, we came home, we put all our grocery, all our, Oh wow! Somebody made a donation. Well, th well, thank you, thank you. For, I don't know who did it, uh, but my phone just said somebody just made a d donation. And if you're if you're watching, oh, let me click the button. Let me click the magic thank you button. Ding, da, ding, da, ding, da, ding, da, ding. Because in in the state of my life right now, I need money. I'm in transit right now. But uh, and I'm going to make a major announcement about that at 1030. But if you look at the map here, you have tequila. People know about tequila, the beverage. Um, but I don't think many people know, I, I, I don't think many people know what's going on with that. The, the agave plant, uh, and I'm, I'm going to say this, somebody will correct me because you guys always correct me to help me out. And I greatly appreciate it. But the, the agave plant only grows in the state of Jalisco in Mexico and the place where I was, uh, uh, Reynal, Tequila, and the drive, the hour and a half drive there on the Autopista, which is like the paid freeway. It's, it's no corn plants, you know, no soy farms. It's all agave plants uh, for, for hundreds of miles. And the Pueblo or the city of Tequila 
is the famous name, of course, because uh, of the of the name of the alcohol. People right now, tequila, the alcohol, is one of the most popular uh, forms of alcohol to buy all over the world. But they say a lot of that came from the city of El uh, Reynal. Ah, uh, El Reynal. And, and then like uh, the, the Pueblo of Tequila kind of pimped them. But, but the city of te Tequila, and if you're driving from Tequila to Arsenal, there's nothing but tequila plants, tequila factories, tequila uh, uh, distilleries. And the industry is super growing. The industry is growing like mad. They're putting up more factories and more plants. Uh, it, it's crazy. And I learned some things. These, these trips are really funny, but I learned some things about tequila in general and the location and we're going to get to that in a second okay yeah jordan white okay uh jordan white mixed vegetables cost me 15 pesos at the market <laughs> okay 10 pesos is like 50 cents so it's like 25 cents it's crazy Come on down here. Danita Price. Hola, Bill. We're in Chapala. Hola, Danita. Oh, good to see you in the house. Uh, Gary Mitchell. Oh, Bill. Did you find an apartment in Ahihik? I'm going to make that announcement in eight minutes. I'm going to make Gary Mitchell. I'm going to make that announcement in eight minutes. Okay. Danita Price meeting with Albero Tuesday. Albero gets the job done. You'll have your papers very shortly. Let's uh, CMT 63. Would you rather have money sent from PayPal? We just realized that YouTube takes part of it. Yeah, um, uh, they, uh, YouTube really doesn't take that much money. So like if you give me two dollars, they might take like. 20 cents it, it's not that much either ways any either way if you're gonna uh, throw up a donation i don't care it, it, everything helps me pay for my uh, internet bill and my telephone bill you know so any donation is greatly appreciated okay robert nice job i used paypal for a small contribution i haven't gotten some great advice I have gotten some great advice. I'm living in Ensenada, British Columbia, and I'm from San Francisco. Thank you very much, Robert, uh, for your contribution. And I don't think I completed it, but uh, down in the description below, there's a link at the top of the description. Should you be watching a rebroadcast, you can click that and donate via PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, or American express okay here we go let's go into let's go into uh uh the pueblo i could call it a city but it, it's really not that big i, I bet the population isn't higher than twenty thousand dollars i was extremely surprised i was i was shocked i was really shocked uh mike and his boyfriend Danielle and me, we drove to the center of town. And this was, uh, I think it was a Thursday. Today's Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Thursday afternoon when we got there. The place was packed. We couldn't, it was hard to find a place to park in this small town. But Mike, uh, Mike, of course, he knows where all the restaurants are. You saw how big he is. I'll tell them. I'll tell him that to his face. Fat Mike. That's what I call him. OK, but uh, the first we got out of the car and uh, here's the plaza. There's Mike being pushed in his wheelchair. That's how accessible the place is. But the shock is coming up now. These guys. I mean, if, if, if you've been to Puerto Vallarta, you've seen these guys. 
If you've been on the Malikon in Chapala, you've seen these guys. And I, I, it's a, uh, it's, it's an ancient tradition. I forget the name of these guys. I'm, I know somebody in the house is going to tell me the name of these guys and the, the history of this. But on the Malikon in Puerto Vallarta, they have these guys. I've seen this go down and, and they have like whistles and, and they're playing their whistles going like do they climb up there and they wait at the top for maybe 15 minutes playing their flutes. And then when it's time to come down, it's time to come down again. This is in the Pueblo of Tequila. Here we are on the square and I'm going to on the plaza. We're going to take you inside. I, I have a complete video on tequila it, it was fabulous uh, i was driving so i didn't drink any tequila i never drink and drive that's my rule of thumb uh, but they have all kinds of tours and there and in the video you'll see tour buses and people just getting torn up on tequila uh, there's lots of food lots of places to eat and if if you've been to Guadalajara, if you've seen our videotapes on Guadalajara, we did do a videotape on Talaque Paque, Talaque Paque. Um, and uh, tequila in Centro, that would be the middle where the plaza is, reminded me a lot of Talaque Paque. But let's let's see what people are talking about. Da 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 da. Oh, okay. Uh, Zorro de la Vega, can you talk a little bit about freedom in Mexico? I know many Canadians are seeking freedom and moving to Mexico. I'm going to say I feel, I feel pretty free. I've been down here 17 years. I feel very free all the time. I mean, uh, it, I, I feel, ext I, I love myself more than I ever have in my life. Uh, I love living, and that's what that's what freedom is all about. And and as long as you stay away from the narco people, uh, I mean, you can live a great life in Mexico. I don't know what it's like to live in Canada, uh, but. I know what it's like to live in the United States. I don't know what it's like now with people going into Walmarts and killing people just because they had a headache, you know, stuff like that. You don't hear about that happening down here unless it's a narco war. The Flying Burrito Brothers. I don't think so, Dr. John. I really don't think so. But let's go back in again. So Mike, Mike says, oh, now this is a this is a government building. And Mike says, you got to go in there. You got to go in there. They, they, they were doing a mural in here. And he said it wasn't finished when I was in here, but maybe it's finished now. And this is a government building. People are in here paying taxes, paying this, getting uh, birth certificates, death certificates doing those types of things that they do. And this is when I began to learn something I had no clue about. There is actually, I'm gonna stop the video, there is actually a tequila God. Yes, there is a tequila God. And this is a mural about the tequila God and all of the energies that flow to the tequila God. And right outside of the Pueblo of Tequila, there is a huge, huge, super huge mountain. And it is the, te te it is the tequila mountain and it and actually it's a volcano it hasn't erupted in 200,000 years so there's a a mountain called tequila right next to the pueblo and there is a tequila god and they have festivals every year to uh to honor 
the tequila god. I tell you what, if you haven't been to the Pueblo of Tequila and you live in Ajiji Chapala or Jocotepec or Guadalajara, it's a, it's a really nice, refreshing trip. Uh, there are many tours from Guadalajara, from Chapala, uh, uh, Ajijic. And you can go down there, eat some wonderful food, drink tequila. Uh, you don't want to drive there. You want to take somebody's tour. Okay. Yeah, okay, Jordan White. Mexico is the land of freedom. Valadores de Pop. Pantla. Thank you, cream cheese. That's the name. So what you want to do, you guys, you can see what cream, I'm, I'm going to just say cream cheese. Uh, you can see what these, you can look that up on the internet and find out about these guys and the history. Ah, uh, uh, crapple, crapple. I remember them. Okay, it's time. It's time for my 1030 big announcement that that I've been broadcasting about uh, Therese and I split up so now I'm looking for an apartment and she's a wonderful wonderful person I'm a wonderful wonderful person but we all have our different visions of what life should all be about and that's why we didn't go live last Saturday because uh, uh, our vision of life is is not bad it's just different so we have uh separated our ways and by this time next next saturday i'll be broadcasting from a wonderful new place to live and i'll show you that next weekend okay so let's go back to uh okay so now right off of the square, right off of the square is the Ho Jose Cuervo. Uh, I don't know if this is the headquarters or what, but it's a fabulous, it's kind of like a museum. It's kind of like a headquarters for Cuervo Gold. It's all things Cuervo tequila. They've got antique uh, bottles, barrels, gifts you can buy. You can buy the tequila in there. Uh, of course, these wonderful pieces of art. They have all types of little restaurants in here. And I. they even have pictures of the Cuervo family tree. There's a, there's a little coffee shop. Uh, it's, the, the building is fabulous. It's right off of the square and it's all about tequila. It's all about uh, Cuervo. And it's funny, you drink Cuervo gold, Cuervo this, Cuervo that, but there is a real history of the Cuervo family. And they've got big money, but to put a face and a history to that family, it was really really wow yeah 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 oh don't don't be sorry uh don't be sorry Danita and Brian all is good everything is good uh, she's a wonderful person she'll do great I'm a wonderful person I'll do great and we'll we'll both be wonderful in our new futures yes Okay, now back to Cuervo. Oh, now we're going to go, now we're gonna to go to the house. We're gonna to go to Mike's house. <laughs> this is gonna be a trip. We're going to go to Mike's house. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Christine, uh, all is good, all is good. But let's go to Mike's house. You guys are going to really uh, uh <laughs> that's funny jordan right okay we're gonna go to mike's house you guys are gonna this this is a trip let's see what we have okay now okay now i'm, I'm going to do a video on mike's house within the next 10 days but here we go here's the road to mike's house that's big fat Mike's house. You saw him a little earlier in this video. Well, to get the big fat Mike's house, the first thing you have to do 
is drive down this dirt road and then you have to cross the creek. And I said, Mike, what happens if the water is high? He says, well, it happens about two times a year and you just have to wait three days uh, to get in or out of the house. But he says it rarely happens. So we drive over the creek and once we get over the creek, we're almost at Mike's house. So we cross the creek and on the left there, you can see that giant brick wall that is surrounding his property. This brick wall goes all the way around the property, except for this one little low brick gap. Uh, and they're working on that to continue. So, so we're gonna drive around the dirt road and soon you're going to see Fat Mike's house. We enter the gate. The gate is usually closed and locked. And now we're gonna take the dirt road up to Mike's house. And this, and there it is. There is Mike's house. There's a well that actually works. That's where they get their water. Uh, and it, it's a great, it's a great place. Okay, okay. Uh, let me catch up over here. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, Brian Maiden, Brian Maiden. Which is better, tequila or mezcal? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, Trace's son, uh, Trace's uh, uh, son-in-law, the doctor. And let, let me get, give him a, a hit here. If you're in Puerto Vallarta and you need a doctor on call, you can, uh, this link is in the description below. Doctor at home in Puerto Vallarta, he will visit your house. But he tells me, he told me that mezcal and tequila are not that far apart from one another. Uh, you know, it's like this plant or that plant, which is better, whatever. It's almost like champagne and wine. I mean, you know, you get those people talking about that. Everybody has a different story. Uh, Javelina flips. Bill, hola. Okay. No, Mike, big fat Mike is leaving for the United States. He has some illnesses. He was only there for a month. And his boyfriend is going to Colombia for three months. Okay. Uh, Danita Price. Bill, Fernando do tours or what? Fernando will give you a tour in the description below. Uh, it's either right above Fernando or it's right below Fernando. I forget the guy's name. Uh, I think his name is Miguel, maybe. But he does tours. He does tequila tours. And he used to do tequila tours every day before the COVID came out. He said it wrecked his business. But I'm sure if you want to do a small tequila tour like you and a couple of people, uh, my cousin that lives in Ahi Heek, uh, he, she, she has become friends with him because Miguel helped her move here. But his information is in the description below. Virginia, how long? time no see from virginia in new york your social worker it is snowing here in long island big time well virginia get your sled get your ice skates and go out there and have get get your cross country skis and go on out there and have a good time make a snowman lay down in the snow make a make a make an angel in the snow enjoy Okay, Mescal, yes, Tony Burgos. Uh, Bill, Tony from Hoko to Peck. Tony, I need to respond to your emails. Cream cheese. Mescal generally has a smoky taste that tequila doesn't have. I like them both on occasion. Thank you very much. Senior Mexico, 1968. Buenos dias, Ted from Baltimore. 19 degrees here and windy. 
Ooh, windy and cold in Baltimore. Senor Mexico, always nice to see you in the house. Okay, you guys, here we go. This is a drone shot above Big Mike's house. The house is on the left. Uh, in the middle, that little rectangle is like a, it's, it's like a gazebo. They have a gas grill in there. I've got my car parked there. Uh, but you can see that whole area is enclosed by that brick barrier. And you can see there are no neighbors. Uh, we were sitting out there on the back porch. We're, I'm going to show you the, uh, uh oh. Yeah, I'm going to show you the back porch in a minute. It looks like it's a Marriott Hotel. Oh, here we go. Dr. John, Crapo Crapo Production, Joe Griff, Dr. John. Mezcal is made from the root of the agave plant. Some brands are solid with a worm in the bottle and offer proof that the mezcal is genuine since the worm lives in the soil around the root. Thank you, Dr. John. Dr. John's uh, answers are always so spot on, and I thank you very much, Dr. John. Virginia, no way, not going outside. I get really cold. I have a space heater on. Stay warm, girl. Stay warm. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to, and if you haven't clicked the button, if you haven't clicked the like button, hit click the like button. If you're enjoying stuff, uh, uh, YouTube likes likes. Do -do -do. Russ Shrewsbury, 15 degrees from Southern West Virginia. We need to send Bill Taco money. Oh, thank you, Russ. Yeah, feel free to click the little money button and contribute to my channel. Thank you, Russ, so much for uh, reminding me. I forgot about that. Thank you. Okay, now. Okay, now, uh, and I'm going to do a complete video this week on Mike's house. But, okay, check this out. Check this out. This is Mike's back porch. And we're going into the house in the video. The house is unbelievable. I mean, this, it, it, this is like the back porch. Uh, they don't have a dining room. I says, why don't you have a dining room? But if you look at, uh, in a sec, there, there's the dining room. The dining room is out on the back porch. And we spent hours out there and the entire back of the house is all giant sliding glass windows. Uh, it's, it's like you can get from here from there. It's two bedrooms, it's two baths, but, but look, look at all these windows. I think that goes into the master bedroom. There's a king size bed in there, huge, uh, up-to-date showers and uh, uh, next week we'll go into the house the house is unbelievable he built the house furnished the house okay now get this all those brick walls that you saw all of the furniture two bedrooms two baths a fabulous kitchen uh, he built and furnish that house for $120,000. Let me say that again. He built the house, he furnished the house for $120,000. And, uh, and, and, and he's thinking about selling the house. I said, well, if you sold the house, what would you sell it for? He said he would sell it for $150,000 thousand dollars and i said mike you know because you guys have seen you guys that watch my videos and if you're not a subscriber you might want to click the subscribe button but uh katie ibarra and i have been have done many videos and the cheapest video we did was one hundred and forty nine thousand dollars that was that was for a three-bedroom it was a nice house but it didn't have 
all the stuff that Mike's house has. And you got houses selling an ahi heek. Me and Katie have done videos with houses that are like 159, but they're small houses. You know, you, you don't have a yard. Uh, I mean, just think, just think, just think if you have a pet and you could let your dog, Mike has a dog and a cat, and they go in and out of the house. They run around here in the yard all the time. I mean, for a hundred, he built all of this for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Amazing, amazing. So that's what I've been up to. I'm on the go. I'm at a secret location here today, broadcasting live from Mexico. I should be settling in in a brand new place next Saturday. Actually, I'll be moving next Friday. It'll be fabulous. That girl, I like Mike's style. I have a friend who just retired, owns horses, dogs, a boat, is considering buying an RV, who would love that type of place. Yeah, that girl. Uh, Mike, Mike was my landlord in Puerto Vallarta for five years. And he and his partner, Charlie at the time, uh, they went into Puerto Vallarta and they went into the ghetto, so to speak. And they bought this house that was, it was like three stories. It was, the house was messed up. So they just, tore it down, rebuilt it, and when they got done, it looked like a Marriott hotel. Marble floors, fabulous kitchens, fabulous bathrooms, furnished it. Mike's real picky about all his furniture and all his artwork. <laughs> that little swimming pool uh, outside of their bedroom. Uh, oh, uh, and I lived upstairs from them. It was like a Marriott suite. Uh, it, uh, dishwasher, uh, super microwave, super uh, refrigerator. And then on top of everything, there was this huge deck. You can't really call it a deck. Up there, they had a gas, a giant gas stove and a palapa. And you could see the ocean and the entire city. But then uh, Charlie and Mike broke up. So, so uh, somehow Mike met uh, uh, Danny, and Danny's from El Arenal, and they just hit it off. And uh, and and the great thing for Mike is that Danny, being from El Arenal, uh, his family owns half the businesses in the city. So. So, uh, so you want, if Mike wants anything, needs anything, all he has to do is ask Danny. And now Mike has met all of Danny's family and they love him and they have become a family. And Mike is a part of my family. Okay. looks like custom made Equipales furniture. Beautiful. I love rustic Mexico. And I tell you, I'm, I'm going to sign off here shortly. And I see more people are clicking the like button. We have 50 people in the house and 20. Oh, we have 48. They're falling off. But again, I'm going to be going into smaller Pueblos to show people. I mean, people go to Ahihik and Chapala because Who's heard of El Arenal? And it's it's all about, well, if you move to Mexico, what are you going to do? I mean, okay, let's say I lived in Mike's house. Hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, you know, I'm just thinking, okay, if I li if if I lived in Mike's house, I mean, inside is fabulous. I mean, and and half of the house is glass looking out into the backyards. I didn't, I didn't, I have some drone images that are really high up that swivel around that will be in that video that show you all the mountains that you look at uh, when you sit out on the back porch. But if I live there, I could live there. It's, he has internet, high speed internet, and I would do my editing of videos, my broad 
my, my live broadcast there. I teach classes online. I can teach from there. And then the rest of the time I'm on the road making videos. So if, if I had lived in that place, I would just leave for two or three days a week, go, go shoot some videos, come back to this wonderful, relaxing environment. I might just put my computer on the back porch and work out there. Uh, so, so my point is, Ahihik's popular, Chapala's popular, Puerto Vallarta is popular, uh, and, but that's just places uh, that people have heard of. So I, I wanna make some videos where you can see places that uh, people don't talk about, that are fabulous. And if you go to a place and you don't see any Americans, you don't see any Canadians, what does that mean? That means cha-ching, 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 cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and, and next week when I go live, I'll show you the inside of Mike's house. And there are places like this. Uh, it, I, it's, it, it surprises me, but I knew a realtor in Puerto Vallarta. I knew a woman who was a realtor in Puerto Vallarta. She was an American. She'd been selling uh, real estate in Vallarta for 10 years. And she said, one thing that amazes her about her job is that whenever she, whenever she opens a door, you never know what you're going to see behind the doors. Sometimes you're going to open a door, it's going to be crap. Other times you're going to open a door and it's going to look like crap outside, but you open the door and it's like Dorothy when she uh, walks out of the house after the house has flown down and been twisting and turning in the tornado and all of a sudden the black and white movie m turns into color and you're surrounded by munchkins. That's what many of these surprise places in towns you've never heard about in Mexico, that's the way it is. Fabulous places, fabulous kitchens, fabulous yards, and very cheap. Again, Mike spent $120,000 to build and furnish that entire house. Christine Prowse, have a great week and good luck with your move. Thank you very much, Christine. You guys, I'm all out of information for this week. I love you guys. Thank you guys for showing up again. We'll, get, we'll be broadcasting live from my new surprise location next week at 10 a.m. Central Time. And again, uh, in, in the description below, should I sign off and you decide that you would like to donate some cash, uh, in the description below, you can click you can click the donation link that will take you into PayPal and you can donate using a Visa MasterCard or American Express. This is Bill the Geek on the Bill Dallas Lewis channel and uh, love you all. We've got more videos coming out very shortly and I hope you all have a great day weekend. I'm signing off. Love you. Thank you so much for joining us.